I have found the fastest way to design and build a React website in 2025. But first, let's break down some real numbers. On freelancing platforms like Upwork and Fiverr, React developers on average charge $25 to $50 an hour. For a two-week project, there is anywhere between $2,500 and $5,000. Now what if you could freelance and charge the same amount and deliver the exact same value in a fraction of the time? Today, in just 15 minutes, I'm going to show you how to build a luxury real estate agent website using Reloom, an AI website builder that lets you go from idea to design to a functioning React app in minutes. We will work with a professional design system and a React component library of over 1,000 components to build a fully responsive production-ready code base. Now, Reloom has graciously offered everyone in this community a free month of access to their platform. Start by heading over to Reloom's website using the link in the description and select Reloom Starter Plan. Start the seven-day free trial and enter the coupon Code Evolution to claim your free month of access. Once you've signed up on Reloom, create a new project. Our first step is to write a prompt describing the website we want to build. Here's the prompt I will use to build a luxury real estate agent website. Sara Martinez is a luxury real estate agent based in Miami, Florida, specializing in high-end residential properties valued at $1 million plus. With over $50 million in sales last year and 10 years of experience, she provides white glove service to both buyers and sellers in Miami's most prestigious neighborhoods. Now you could leave it at that, but let's make this more specific by listing the pages we want to build. Home, About, Services, Listings, and Contact. Select the number of pages as 1 to 5 and choose English as a language. When we hit the button Generate Sitemap, Reloom's AI will analyze our prompt and create a suggested sitemap. A sitemap is essentially your website's blueprint. It outlines all your pages, their connections, and the sections on each page. Reloom has created our five page sitemap with a detailed home page structure. Click on Generate Empty Pages to let Reloom fill in the remaining pages. We have About, Services, Listings with a detailed listing page, as well as Contact. Our sitemap is now complete. There are a few things you can do at this stage. First, you can add a new page to the sitemap. Click the plus icon, call it Blog, for example, and generate content. You can also add a new section to a page. For example, a blog post body section. You can also reorder the sections within a page, move a section across a page, or delete a section. The navbar and footer are global sections by default. You can pick a color to easily identify them. Orange for the navbar, green for the footer. You can also create your own global sections for consistency and they become reusable components. For example, select the testimonial section, click create global section, copy and paste it. Delete the other testimonial section. And now when you give it a color, you can see the same section is present across both pages. Changes to the section in one page will be reflected throughout your website. A pro tip, is to share the sitemap link directly with your client to get quick feedback before moving to wireframe generation. Once your client approves the sitemap, we can transform it into wireframes. And this is where Reloom does a fantastic job. Select wireframe at the top of your canvas and watch as Reloom generates wireframes by pulling relevant components and creating custom content based on our prompt. All components come from Reloom's extensive library of 1,000 plus components, which you can access from the dashboard and React library in the side nav. Here, you can filter components by category, for example, marketing, e-commerce, application UI, by layout type, for example, text alignment, content alignment, number of columns, by elements included in the components, such as text, images, buttons, etc and also by interactivity. Every component includes viewable code as well as previews. 
You can toggle between desktop and mobile views to see how the component looks on different devices. After the wireframe generation completes, you have several options. If you're not happy with the chosen components for a particular page, you can select it and use Shuffle Components to regenerate different component types for each section. You can also select an individual component and click Replace Component to choose a specific component you liked from the library. The content of the component will always reflect your prompt. You can move, copy, or delete sections, as well as individual elements inside a section. You can also customize component props to create variations. For example, asset placement on the left instead of on the right. Now to refine the content itself, you can select the element and click on Regenerate Copy. You can edit the section title and section description and click Generate Copy. You can also select the text and ask AI to adjust the text length. Make shorter, make longer, make number of lines, and it works seamlessly. You can also edit the text directly. You have full control over the generated copy. At any point, press Ctrl Z or Command Z to undo the latest change. Pause the video and try out the different features. Add new sections, delete sections, shuffle components, and pick the ones you like the most. I'll do the same behind the scenes. I decided to leave out the block page and also chose image-heavy components as I feel they're more appropriate for a luxury real estate agent website. Now that we're happy with the design, let's export it to React code. Reloom generates clean, responsive React components with Tailwind CSS styling. I have already set up a Vite React app with Tailwind CSS installed. You can do the same by running npm create Vite at latest and then following the installation instructions for Tailwind CSS. Open localhost port 5173 in the browser and you should see your Read React app with Tailwind CSS styling working as expected. Back in Reloom, select React as the export format and click Export. Extract the downloaded zip file and add the folder to your React project. I've renamed the folder to Real Estate Agent and placed it inside the source folder. This folder contains all the pages we see in Reloom. Home, About, Services, Listings, the individual listing, and contact. Each page contains React components from Reloom's component library. But for these components to work with your project, you will need to install Reloom's React library. Simply follow the instructions displayed when you click on Export. First, copy and run the provided npm install command. So npm install at reloom.io slash reloom.ui and at reloom.io slash reloom tailwind. Then update the tailwind config file with the content entry. Open tailwind.config.js and add an entry for reloom. Finally, add the preset, but using the import syntax instead of require. So import reloom tailwind and specify the same as a preset. Finally, include the home page component in your app.tsx file. We are exporting page component from index.jsx from the home component, which we will import and render as part of the app components JSX. Head back to the browser and you can see the home page, the header, the hero section, a marquee effect for high-profile logos that we want to showcase, feature sections, some more guides, testimonials, a call to action, and the footer. You can switch pages by changing the component import. For example, import contact from the contact folder and render the same component. Back in the browser, we will see the contact page. As you can see, Reloom helps us get 80% of the way there in just 10 minutes. The remaining 20% involves configuring routing, setting colors, and adding images. 
For routing, let's take the help of Cursor's agent to install and configure React Router. Command I to open Composer and tag the code with at folder. Write the prompt, install and configure React Router to set up routes for home, about services, listings, and contact. It will take a minute to work its magic, and when it's done, you can see the code updated in app.jsx. It even created a shared component for navbar. It did make the navbar more minimal, but I'm not going to complain about it. And for the images, you can use Unsplash or even Midjourney and add them to the public folder. Reference the images and the appropriate components. If you head to the browser, you can see the blue brand color, the images, and you can also navigate between pages from the navbar. For example, click on listings, and we see our listings page with Oceanfront Paradise and Urban Oasis. Click on contact, and we see the contact page. And remember, all components are responsive by default, including the navbar. We've gone from a simple prompt to a complete React website in 15 minutes. How awesome is that? The best part is that you can replicate this process for any type of website, from SaaS landing pages to e-commerce websites with 20 plus pages. Each project can be customized with your own branding, content, and functionality. But the time it takes to go from an idea to 80% of the way there is always the same. All right, all that is left for you is to sign up for freelancing and start making money. If you want to try Reloom, check out the link in the description and apply the coupon Code Evolution on the Reloom starter plan to get a free month of access. Turn your next React project into a 15 minute build with Reloom. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.